lawns being mowed and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with some <laughs> Yeah, we're looking good. So, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Whiskey, will you get off of me? Stop it. Stop sniffing me. All right, so what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are, bro, for real? What is, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you, bro, I swear. All right, let me just skip the part. I hope you all are having a great day. Today we got a new fish which it has been a long time since we got a new fit. Literally, something has to interrupt my videos every single time I'm filming. Let me, let me just restart. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are having a great day, I am. And today we got a new fish, which it has been a very long time since we have gotten new fish. I've been wanting this fish for a very long time and it is probably one of my favorites and a lot of you guys told me to get it. It was down in the comment section multiple times when I put it in my videos. So today we are finally getting a black ghost knife fish. That is what you guys are gonna be seeing today. We're going to Malone's Monsters. I will see you all when we're getting there. He's gonna be feeding the fish at the beginning, so don't mind him. It might be a little bit funny to a lot of you guys and um, let's go. I'll see you guys when I am there. All right, so we got the feeding going on right now. Tell them what's up. What's going on, guys? How y'all doing out there in the fishy world? We got a whole bunch of tilapia right here. And now, we're gonna start feeding these guys in here. All of them. I start throwing these guys in little pellets. A little bit of the carnivore pellets. Get everyone going here. Get the silver dollars eating and get them more active so they don't run around with these tilapia in their mouth for the next 10 minutes. Let them all have to get the ripsaw coming out and he's going to come out now and voyage on out. Now we're going to throw some of the smaller chunks to keep the smaller guys all happy and satisfied. We're going to go feeding over there right now and see how these guys are all doing. Here's a girl Ariel. She has a nice little chunk in her mouth there. See she wants to grab another one. Oh, she's so happy. That was a good piece, girl. That was a center cup fillet, my dear. Right back in here in the back. He's just getting came onto some of this stuff. He had a fight to climb a knife for it. We'll get him another one. Here you go, Draco Austin. Here, buddy. So we get our daytime feeders, get a little non-pressure from the cats, and the cats don't get the pressure from the faster fish that are gulping the food down on them. So we try to speak specifically at night around the rocks, daytime around the pond, for that reason, to keep the catfish and everybody happy. Now you guys can see all the fish that are in here. He has a few big arowanas. He actually has two big arowanas that are over a foot long. He has a whole bunch of catfish. There's two red-tailed catfish, a Marbla Cara hybrid, a regular hybrid, and then um, a tarpon in there, vulture catfish, peacock bass, a clown knife fish, a ghost clown knife fish, which I'm actually going to be getting today. And there's so many other fish that are in here. Hi guys, what are my friends doing today? Hi guys. Uh, oh, he got scared. What are you doing? This is our little brand new marble, our marble car tiger shovel nose hybrid, which everyone's been buying. Right here, check him out. He's just getting used to us. He hasn't been handled much, but I can get a pet in every once in a while. Oh, there he is. There he is, Mr. Edgar. Stop biting me, Paku. I think it's a Paku. Hey, Mr. Edgar. You guys have seen Edgar before. Got to show you that Edgar is staying small. I'm so happy he's staying small and he's not getting to be this huge monster. He was the runt and we were hoping he was gonna be stay the runt. Here you go, boy. Good night, our clown. Been letting me pet him lately, finally. This is one of the ones you're going home with. Say hi. Okay. Say hi, Venom. Love him. Swimming backwards. Swim backwards for me. Ah, love it. Swim sideways for me. Swim upside down for me. 
Beautiful fish. Love them. So you guys probably didn't hear him, but he said that the big arowana in here, the biggest arowana was actually caught in the wild by someone and he went and picked it up and brought it into the pond right here. So that was really cool. How'd you like to do that? Ah, uh, that was like amazing guys. Let me tell you, I was trying for it on the beetle spin. It had nothing to do with it. The guy pulled a piece of bread out of his pocket that I went with, threw it on a hook and it hit bread. I wish I had the story for you. This arowana jumped out of the water and crushed his top water jitterbug and blah, 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 blah. It was a bread ball, man, a bread ball. A bread ball is what he caught him on. What we are doing is we're gonna be getting a black ghost knife, the one that's inside of this tank right behind me. The biggest one is probably about four to five inches, and I'll show you exactly what he looks like right now. The bigger ghost knife. Now, ghost knife, go in the bowl. Well, we know he likes you, Luke, because he went right into the bowl for you. That's right. Right in the bowl. Oh, thank you, sir. There you go. Get him in the bag. Never touch, no air. Right here is our black ghost knife fish. You can see him right there. You get a good angle at him. So these guys get not too big, not as big as the regular clown knife fish. These guys only get, how big do you say? Two 14, feet? 14 inches max. 14 inches max is the biggest size that these guys get right here. So we're gonna bring this guy back to my house. I'm gonna put him inside of this box right here. We're gonna bring him back to my 75 gallon tank in my living room, set him in there with a peacock bass and the Marbella Kyre Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid. So just like that, we made it back to my house. I have him right here. We're gonna be acclimating him inside of the bag really quick. Let me open this up. We're gonna set him in just like this. So now you can really see his colors inside of the tank. So that's what he's gonna look like. And I'm probably gonna change this gravel in here to white gravel so that you can see it a lot easier. Just like all the other fish that are in here, the peacock bass, they, whiskey, they actually blend in very good with the bottom that is black. You're gonna wanna change that up and same with the catfish so you can see everything better and get a new decor so that it's not a decor that is already made. We're gonna get pieces of driftwood, put it in there with plants, live plants, and we're also gonna be redoing the 80 gallon pretty soon here. So we're gonna let him sit inside of this bag for probably 15 to 25 minutes. Let's let him sit. All right, so we got the miniature cooler right here that we're gonna be dumping him in with the water. We have the net right there, so we don't mix any of this water right here into my tank because then, you guys all know I told you this a lot of times before, it will actually mess up the water that is in your aquarium because all of the air that is in here is no bueno. You can literally hear my dog in the background. But here we go. Stump him in there, oh no. All right, so there he goes. He is right inside of this net now. I'm gonna put him inside of here and then I'll get you guys a better view on him. You guys can see him right there. We're gonna let him go inside of the tank. And I forgot to mention another reason why I want to take out this decor and redo the whole thing and put live plants in there so it looks very, very cool. And also another reason why is so that this fish right here, so we can actually see him. Because you guys will not be able to see him. Let me give you a good look right now. And this is about as much as you're gonna get a view of him until I get everything redone inside of this tank. And look at the peacocks. And look at whiskey. Whiskey, come here. He does not like to be videoed at all. And then, besides that fish right there, you guys are not even able to see the catfish at all. Literally, at all. Look at you can see his whiskers. Sorry for the algae that is in the tank. I'm gonna be getting new plecos for this tank also. And you guys can actually see him better on camera than I can actually see him in person. That fish right there, the catfish. And the peacocks also, they get very scared and they hide up in the corner 
since all of the gravel is black and their colors turn really, really dark. Look at this. I bet you 90% of the people that are out there watching this video right now have never seen a peacock that dark before. It's just an insanely dark peacock and I do not like it. So we're gonna be adding the white pool filter sand to make it mix it up a little bit. It's gonna be a lot more cool inside of here. I've never had a different gravel than black inside of here. I've never really had a decor different than this one inside of here. So it's gonna be really cool to have real driftwood inside of this tank right here. And um, I feel like I am talking a lot. So let me just give you a good look at the two tanks right now because you guys have not seen them in a while. So let me know what you guys think is the best thing I do on this channel and I will be sure to do more of it. So without further ado, this is where I'm gonna end off the video. I wanna thank all of you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you all in my next video.